Hello, let's draw a regular heptagon inscribed in a given circumference. The first step is to draw a vertical diameter which cuts our circumference at points A and P, as shown here in the video. So the next step is to set our compass to the radius of the given circle and now with our compass centered on point P we are going to scribe an arc which cuts our circumference at two points which we will call Q and R. So the third step is to join these points Q and R with a horizontal line as we can see here in the video and this line cuts our vertical diameter at a point we will call M. So now we already have the length of one side of our heptagon which is equal to QM or MR. So the next step is setting our compass to the length QM for example which we will set our compass and we will put our compass on point A of the circumference and continue to scribe seven arcs which will be the vertices of our heptagon. So here we have our first arc now setting our compass on the previous previous arc we scribe our second arc Here we have our third. There's our fourth arc. There's our fifth. And if we have been working with precision and accuracy up to this point, uh, this is our sixth arc. And now our seventh arc should cut A exactly, if we have been working with accuracy, as can be seen here. Okay. So now we have our seven vertices of the heptagon we are looking to draw. We will name them A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And now the final step is to join our vertices from A to B using a ruler or our set square from B to C, from C to D, from D to E, from E to F, from F to G, and finally we will close our pentagon from G to A. So now we have our regular heptagon inscribed in a given circumference. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you very much.